Hello, ladies, fellow moms. Um, I just wanted to hop on here and create a video. I know we don't usually do this, but I have something that I wanted to show you and thought it'd be really fun if I made a video instead of trying to type it all out and make you guys sift through reading that. So hopefully you have a few seconds, grab a quick cup of coffee. I just wanna show you something that I've been using to track our year through mops personally, and I think it could be of value to you too. So, um, I'm going to show you my screen and just follow along as I walk you through what I've been doing. Okay, so what you're looking at here is a product called Platstack. It's um, still in beta and I'm just super excited that I've had the chance even to work on it. And this is a stack within Platstack specifically for our mops group. So. Um, this stack you can view, you can, I'll send you the link. You can look at the link yourself and then, um, you can click on any of these extra links within here to open them up. But I just wanted to show you how I've used it for CLV this year. So first off, um, I titled my stack to the full because obviously we're living life to the full this year. And, um, as you can see from the description, this is just the best insights that I've found from our mop season so far. Um, up at the top, I've broken it up into different sections because there's a lot that we cover at MOPS and there's a lot that goes on in between meetings and at meetings. So the first one is kind of our the basic business stuff. So I have the MOPS membership website. I've got our meetup. I've got our Spring Fling Carnival, um, the upcoming breakfast sign up, our home church, and then of course, um, another link to the MOPS membership website specifically to a video I wanted to look at. Um, I've also been tracking the different speakers that we've had come through our doors. And so from Lori Acker back in September, uh, Melanie in October, or no, Erica in October, Melanie in November, I can obviously just rearrange these real quickly. You can see here, it's really easy to just drag and drop. Um, this one is not relevant to this section, so I'll just delete it. And you can just see how we've had it all stacked up. I don't have Pastor Hook in here because he has the website to Christ Lutheran Vale, obviously. And then I don't have the videos from January's meeting, but as soon as I get my hands on those, I'm going to put them in here. Um, the other thing is our Bible studies. And so I have links to the books and I also have links to some videos about them. And I also have MomCon 2019. If you go in here and look at anything, I would look at this one right here, the 2019 MomCon video, this YouTube video from Taylor Hughes. So funny. It's just a two minute video. It's a little song he made up about things moms say, and it's really, really cute. And then of course I have Playdate ideas. So this is great for me as I'm trying to be better about planning playdates, but it's also a great spot for you if you're just looking for something to do. I'm gonna keep adding ideas in here. So there's some typical ones, obviously the zoo, Colossal Cave in our backyard and the Children's Museum, but then also a link to Tucson Topia that always has fun things going on for kids and families. And then um, Bear Canyon Ranch is a really cute one. So I think we should try and do a play date there soon. Um, but anyway, I'm going to continue to add ideas here too. So within each link, you can actually go and leave a comment. So from here, um, like I said, there's a few bugs. It's no big deal, but just look past them for now. We're working really hard on them. Um, but you can leave notes about it. I've not left any notes yet, but I can. So I can just say, this is our MOPS meetup page. So now I know. And then you can also leave comments. So if anybody wants to come in here and leave a comment about hey, I'd love more information or remind me to send the, the breakfast sign up link or whatever it is. Um, maybe this was a bad link to use as an example of that, but you can always leave comments around the meetup, any questions or anything like that. And anybody can do that. And then same with reminders. So you can set up a reminder to RSVP for the meetings before RSVPs close on the Sunday before the meeting. So it's kind of a nice thing. So just set that custom date and I'll remind you. Um, yeah, so this has been super duper helpful for me. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Uh, there's a lot more to the product beyond what I've shown you, but this is how I've been using it for mops. And so I thought, um, I thought you guys might be interested. You're welcome to go and create your own stack or go and I'll put a link to this stack. It's a totally free thing to use. Um, would just love to hear your feedback and yeah, see if you guys want to use it.